Hello and welcome to my Home Tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss solving systems of equations with three variables by using substitution method and then verify the answer by using the Casio FX570EX class with calculator. We will also discuss the types of solution we might obtain from the systems of equations with three variables. This is a video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. A system of equations with three unknown variables is a collection of three equations containing three variables, which are also known as unknowns, that must be solved simultaneously. For example, let's see these three equations, x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 6, 2x minus 3y plus z equals to 1, negative x plus y minus 2z equal to negative 3. This is a system of equations with three variables. In this system, the unknown variables are x, y, and z. To resolve the system, we must identify values of x, y, and z that simultaneously satisfy all three equations. There are many different ways that we can use to solve a system of equations with three unknown variables. The methods that we use in SVM syllabus, including substitution and elimination, these two methods are similar to the one that we use to solve simultaneous equations with two unknown. In this video, we will focus on the substitution method. A system of equations with three unknown variables can have one of the following types of solutions. One, no solution. This occurs when there is no set of values of x, y, and z that can make all three equations true at the same time. For example, the following system has no solutions. No matter what values that we choose for x, y, and z, it is impossible to make both equations true simultaneously. Number two, unique solutions. This occurs when there is only one set of values of x, y, and z that can make all three equations true at the same time. For example, the following system has a unique solution. In this case, there's only one set of values of x, y, and z that can make all three equations true simultaneously. Number three, infinitely many solutions. This occurs when there are an infinite number of sets of values of x, y, and z that can make all three equations true at the same time. This can happen when the system has a free variable, which is a variable that is not fixed by the equations. For example, the following system has infinitely many solutions. In this case, we can choose any values of x and then use equations to find the corresponding values of y and z. This means that there are an infinite numbers of solutions to the system. Let's see this example. Solve the following system of equations using the substitution method. The three equations are x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 6, 2x minus 3y plus z equals to 1, and negative x plus y minus 2z equal to negative 3. To solve a system of linear equations with three unknowns using substitutions, you can follow these steps. First, write the systems of linear equations in general form with the variables on the left side and the constants on the right side. In our case, all three equations are already in general form. Let's call this equation 1, 2, and 3. After that, solve one of the equations for one of the variables. For example, let's solve the first equations for x. We get x equal to 6 minus 2y minus 3z. Let's call this equation 1a to indicate that it comes from equation 1. Substitute these expressions for x into the other equations. For example, for the second equation, substitute x equal to 6 minus 2y minus 3z. We get 12 minus 4y minus 6z minus 3y plus z equal to 1. Hence, 7y plus 5z equal to 11. Let's call this equations 2a. 
for the third equation, substitute x equal to 6 minus 2y minus 3z, we get negative 6 plus 2y plus 3z plus y minus 2z equal to negative 3, hence z equal to 3 minus 3y. Let's call this equation 3a. Substitute equation 3a into equation 2a, we get 7y plus 5 times 3 minus 3y equal to 11. Hence, negative 8y equal to negative 4 and y equal to 1 over 2. Substitute y equal to 1 over 2 into equation 3a, we get z equal to 3 over 2. Substitute y equal to 1 over 2 and z equal to 3 over 2 into equation 1a, we get x equal to 1 over 2. This is the solution of these systems of equations. This method of solving systems of linear equations with three unknowns involves us using substitutions to eliminate one of the variables, then solving for the remaining variables. It is generally faster and easier than the elimination method. Now let's try to use the Casio FX 570EX calculators to verify our answer. To solve a system of equations with three unknowns, let's go to the mode and then move our highlight until we see this equations functions and uh, press the equal key to go into the mode. And then we have two uh, choices. Uh, this is simultaneous equations, so we choose one, and this is simultaneous equations with three unknowns, therefore we select three. Okay, now so we need to key in the coefficients of x, y, and z for all three equations. The coefficients of the x for the first equation is one, and then equal, and then uh, the coefficient for y is 2 and coefficients for the z is 3 okay and the constant is 6 okay for second equations the first coefficient is 2 followed by negative 3 and then 1 and the constant is 1 and for the third equations, the first coefficient is negative 1. The second coefficient is 1. And the third uh, coefficient is negative 2. And the constant is negative 3. Okay, let's see the solutions. Okay, our x is equal to 1 over 2. This is correct. And the y is also equal to 1 over 2. This is also correct. And the z is equal to 3 over 2. 3 over 2. So these three solutions are correct for this systems of linear equation. So this is how we use the Casio FX 570EX calculators to verify our answer for solving a systems of linear equations with three unknown. Let's see another example. This is a system of three linear equations with three unknown. Take note that the first equation and the second equation are almost the same, except that the constants are different. Let's solve this system of equation by using substitution method. Solve the first equation for x, we get x equal to 1 minus y minus z. Substitute this into the second equation, we get 1 equal to 2. We know that this is not right, therefore there will be no solution for this system of equation. Now let's verify our answer by using the calculators. Let's key in the coefficients. The first equation, the first coefficient is 1. The second coefficient is also 1, the third coefficient 1, and the constant is also 1. And for the second equation, the first coefficient is 1, the second coefficient is 1, the third coefficient is 1, and the constant is equal to 2. And for the third equation, the first coefficient is 2, 
the second coefficient is 7 and the third coefficient is 1 and the constant is 6 and let's see what's the solution okay the calculator shows that there is no solution for this system of linear equations uh, this is same as the results that we get again we have a system of equations with three unknowns take note that the first and the second equations are similar the second equation is the third multiples of the first equation let's try to solve these systems of equations by using substitutions method first of all solve the first equation for x we get x equal to 1 minus y minus z substitute this into the second equation 3 times 1 minus y minus z plus 3y plus 3z equal to 3 3 minus 3y minus 3z plus 3y plus 3z equal to 3 and therefore 3 equal to 3 if the result is like this after we substitute an equation into another equation this indicates that this system of equation has infinite number of solutions now let's try to verify our answer by using the calculators let's key in the coefficient of the three equations the first one is one 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 so one 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 and for the second equations the coefficient is three 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 so three 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 and the third equation so coefficient is one negative one two zero so one negative one two zero and let's see what's the solution okay according to the calculators uh, this system of equation has infinite solutions, uh, which means our answer is correct.